So today we have some information regarding Trial of the Gods. Now, as of recording this video, the only boss we've been able to fight is Anubis, and the boss fight was pretty nice, but it was incredibly, incredibly easy. And as we know, there's going to be three more Trial of the Gods bosses that we'll be able to fight in the coming weeks. And basically, there's been some concept art released of these gods, and it's pretty interesting to see. So we get a good look at the gods that we're going to be able to fight, and it coincides with the Anubis concept art that we got a few weeks ago, because it was the featured photo on the day of the trial. Trial of the Gods when it first went live. So, without further ado guys, let's get straight into today's video talking about Trial of the Gods and showcasing the new bosses. First of all, I just want to say, remember that these are concept arts, they're not actual images of the bosses themselves, although, as we saw from the initial Anubis concept art, it's definitely very similar to the final product, so this is what we can expect the bosses to look like, because the Anubis boss battle and the Anubis boss looks exactly the same as the concept art here. Obviously, this concept art tells us practically nothing about the gameplay features that are going to be in these bosses, so we have no idea what's going to be going on, we just know what they look like, which they do look really really nice. So first of all we have Sobek which is the god of the Nile and the god of crocodiles. As you can see it's a big crocodile, got a big hat on his head and it looks really really nice. Obviously I think the Sobek boss battle is going to be in a very watery swampy sort of area as you can see from the concept art here. It's going to be a nice change from the Anubis boss battle that took place in the middle of the desert and there was basically sand as far as the eye could see. Uh, now we can have a more swampy area and there'll be a big big Sobek Sobek boss for us to fight. Given the fact that Sobek is the god of crocodiles, it would make sense that there will be ads that were crocodiles. And crocodiles, they're pretty annoying in this game. You know, if they overwhelm you, they can completely fuck you up. Obviously, with the jackals in the Anubis boss battle, they weren't too difficult because they were practically hyenas, pretty easy to dodge and deal with. But the crocodiles are much bigger and they have a much greater area of attack. So it's much more difficult to dodge them, which is going to prove slightly more difficult. And obviously, I just want more difficulty in these bosses. The Anubis this boss battle wasn't difficult whatsoever, I did it on like my second try, it really isn't hard at all, so I'd do with some more difficulty in the next boss battle, that'd be really really nice. Anyway, the next boss that we'll be able to fight is Ra, the god of the sun. Now I can imagine there's going to be a bunch of maybe fiery aspects to this boss. As you can see, we're returning to a more sandy area, given that Egypt is quite a lot of sand, uh, there's going to be a lot of these bosses set in the sandier areas, and yeah, I could definitely definitely imagine there's going to be quite a lot of fire aspects to this boss because obviously Ra is the god of the sun. Possibly the boss could shoot huge beams of fire at us or something like that and maybe we need to shoot that big ball on top of his head to be able to kill him. I have no idea. But this boss definitely does look really, really nice. Can't wait to fight Ra. Ra usually is a very extravagant boss. Usually looks quite cool in most depictions of him simply because he's the sun god, you know? The sun god. The sun was a very worshipped part in ancient Egypt. So it's it's bound to be a really, really nice looking god, and as you can see from this concept art, it looks fucking awesome. The last boss we'll be able to fight in the Trial of the Gods is Sekhmet. Now, Sekhmet is the warrior goddess and also associated with healing. So, I reckon this boss is going to be probably the most difficult of the four, considering it's one, the last, and two. This god is the warrior goddess, which means that there's going to be quite a lot of stuff happening, a lot of stuff trying to kill us, and also possibly the god could period heal herself during combat. It would make sense considering she's the goddess of healing, but there's definitely probably going to be a lot of enemies trying to kill us during this boss because she is the warrior goddess. Her name literally means the powerful one, so she's probably going to be very difficult for us to defeat. At least I hope so. And obviously, when we complete all four of the Trial of the Gods, we get the awesome looking Anubis armor, which is on fire, and the weapons that we get throughout it as well. Obviously, we already have the Conductor of Souls. I'd love to see more of the different types of gear that you get from Trial of the Gods. Possibly, after we get the Anubis outfit, maybe have some Sekhmet themed gear, or some Sobek themed gear, or some Ra themed gear. I just want all of the different pieces of gear to have like a god that's related to them, not just Anubis. I feel like that's kind of a waste. That means you can spread out the content even more and people will be coming back to the game because there will be more gear up for grabs, like all of these certain types of gear. Because so far all we've seen is a shield, a sword, a scepter, and an outfit, but I'd like more. Possibly stuff like jewel swords with a Sekhmet theme, or I don't know, a spear with Ra's theme. I just want themed weapons for doing more Trial of the God. 
gods. Fair enough, you can have the Anubis outfit and the Anubis weapons, that's really good, but I'd like to also have different gear and different weapons the next time around. I doubt that's gonna happen, I think this is the only stuff we're gonna get, but it's something I'd like to see in the future. Anyway, that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe for more gaming news content and reviews in the future. Also, remember to comment down in the comment section below telling me what you think of these concept art designs for these bosses. Do you think this is what they're gonna look like? Do you think these are the bosses that are gonna be in Shroud of the Gods? I personally do. It's pretty obvious. They coincide with the Anubis concept art, so these are probably the bosses we're gonna get for the future Shroud of the Gods. And do you think we're gonna get extra rewards for Shroud of the Gods in the future? Possibly with the themes of the various different gods and not just Anubis. Anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to go check out my Let's Play episode that went up today that helped me out a fuck turn, and also check out my most recent tips and tricks guide on how to get lots of money in Assassin's Creed Origins. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.